you guys so I wanted to come on here and let you guys know and like introduce you to the new segment that I want to be doing here on YouTube and what it's gonna be called which you probably already know from the title is I haven't like specifically like put a name but it has to do something with like Echale Tus Tacos Tuesdays or something like that you'll see you'll see it on the title but I wanted to do this segment every Tuesday and it's just me like coming in front of the camera and talking to you guys about whatever is on my mind, whatever is bothering me, whatever is anything, just to come on here and talk to you because I know I would do that before with you guys and I really do miss that. I miss like just being able to vent and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Every Tuesday I'm going to be posting up a video about just that. And today I wanted to make it about like, um, how do I say it, like friendships and friendships ending, friendships changing, friendships, everything. Just like, you know, like when you have that friend that you're just like, we're just not the same anymore. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to talk to you guys about because that is what I'm currently going through right now. Um, I know I've said it before in other videos, I don't have a lot of friends, I don't have, I could count them on one hand, even less than ha a hand, I don't have a lot of friends that I could actually like talk to, text and stuff like that, so it's just, it, it bugs me when something is going on with me and one of the friends that I do talk to, right now at the moment it was just two of them, two friends that I could text or call and just talk to and stuff like that and right now um i'm having problems with one of them i don't think i want to get like deep into the detail of everything because just because i don't want to like air out our dirty laundry on youtube you know what i mean and before i start talking or anything like that these are my feelings and i'm venting about what's going on in my life and how i feel and stuff like that and this video this video is not meant to like hurt anybody or anything like that and by anybody i mean her if she was to see this video i really don't know if she watches my youtube because she hasn't even said anything about my youtube channel and that kind of hurts me as well but um i that's what i wanted to come on here and talk about um, I don't even know where to start. I, I guess to give you just like a recap on everything, it would be a couple months ago in May. Um, my birthday was in May and my mom planned this like dinner for me and she told me, with my family and she told me, invite your friends, my two friends, invite them. And I said, okay, yeah, I will. So I invited them and one of them I understood because she had other plans with her husband and that was already set and stuff like that. So I had no problem with that. And the other one, I um, it really hurt me because she told me, yes, I'll go and stuff like this, whatever. And then at the end she's like, no, I can't because my mom is working and I really don't want to take the girls to a restaurant, whatever. So I said, okay, you know, and as soon as we were going to hang up the phone, um, she had told me that her mom was working late and she wasn't there and all this stuff. So I was like, oh, that sucks, you know. And as soon as we were going to hang up the phone, I heard her mom talk. And I was just like, really? Like, you really? Like, you have to lie to me like that? You know what I mean? Like, if you just didn't want to go, you could have said, you know what? No, I just can't go because I don't want to leave the girls here with my mom. Or whatever, whatever reason. But to lie to me, that's what really irks me. Like, don't lie to me. You know what I mean? gosh I saw something around or something don't lie to me you know what I mean if you couldn't go didn't want to go just tell me the truth just be straight with me and it's fine you know what I mean but um that really got to me and that really got me to like well shit you know like you can't be honest with me and it just I don't know it just got me thinking and then in that same month um my boyfriend works out of town worked out of town and he had been getting really sick. He was really sick of his stomach and we didn't know exactly what it was. And he couldn't work. He couldn't do like fuerzas, like the strength, like to pull horses because that's what his job was to work with horses. And he just couldn't do it. So he had to move back. 
and we had like a big life change because we couldn't pay our rent we had a lot of problems with our bills and stuff like that so we did decide to move back in with my mom and that's where we are right now and um so during that month of may we said we need to move out of the house that we were renting by next month we cannot afford to pay next month and so we were busy doing that and oh my gosh you could ask my boyfriend he feels like he says i'm a hoarder and i could say that i do save like sentimental things but um i guess it's just a lot of sentimental things but it just like it was just so much stuff you have no idea how many trips we had to make to and from that house and it was just ridiculous so it was days and days of doing that and trying to you know leave the house spotless and just leave it in good condition just so I mean we broke our lease you know I just didn't want to leave the house bad and it wasn't bad it was just cleaning you know mopping and really cleaning the tiles and stuff like that but we had all that stress on us and it was really stressful and I mean I was busy you know I was busy with my family and then my boyfriend moving back I was trying to make up for lost time and it gets me really emotional because I was living my life with my family and this friend that I'm having issues with now she um we used to talk every day every day in the morning and then all of a sudden when he was here um, she wasn't answering my calls anymore in the morning and I thought okay you know well what's going on whatever so as soon as I would get home from dropping off the kids I was there with my family I would cook breakfast I would take care of my kids I would talk to my boyfriend we would do things together and stuff like that I did not have the time that I had before to sit there and talk to somebody on the phone you know what I mean and like I said I was trying to make up for lost time with him and I was just trying to spend time with him especially with him being sick and not knowing what was going on I was just trying to be there you know I was just trying to be there and I would have thought that someone who I considered my breast my best friend would have understood that and apparently not it apparently now it just like backfired in my face because it's like and I get it I, I didn't spend as much time with her as I would before or talk to her like I did before but it, this has been just in the matter of a month and then after I moved in here with my mom um, we decided you know what we got some extra money from somewhere and um, we said you know what let's go out of town and we left we left to California we went to Universal Studios with my mom we took my aunt and her kids and us and the kids and my mom we went and we had such a good time so during that time I could also not talk to her I was with my family I was living life with my family and I was already upset at the whole birthday thing and the whole you know like not answering me in the morning and stuff like that I was already hurt I was upset not so much upset but I was just like really like now that things are looking up for me you're not you're not there for me you know what I mean so it went like that we went out of town for a few days we came back home we were here for a week and then we left again out of town we went to go visit my sister up in Massachusetts because well that's where she lives so we went to go visit her and um, we had a good time there we stayed there for a week we spent time with my sister we caught up with her we met the kids I met my niece for the first time which was just like which was just nice you know because she's been up there for like the whole life uh, she has three kids so she's been up there for how many years four years I think four or five years and um, I missed her so we spent time with her and we just had a good time and on the way back it's so far it took us two days just to get there and on the way back it took us like three four days to come back home because we were just so tired so we were stopping at hotels and hotels and stuff like that so one of the times we stopped in Oklahoma and I 
before that, I'm sorry, I'm like backtracking. Before that, we still weren't talking. We were still here. I think it was the week before we left Massachusetts. I realized, I noticed on Facebook that this friend of mine tagged our other friend. And it was a picture of them two, like, watching a movie. I, I'm thinking at my other friend's house. And she's like, we need another night like this. And I commented, because I was hurt. I commented and I said, um really like because they didn't invite me they didn't tag me they didn't do anything so I said okay well really you know like and she never answered me she never commented back she never texted me nothing so we left it like that and while we were gone on the way back I was talking about this with my boyfriend and I said I just don't want to leave it like this like this is someone that has been a part of my life for a very long time someone that I have brought into my family by baptizing one of my kids someone that i really trusted you know i don't want to leave my friendship like that so I, he said text her text her and ask her what's wrong you know like be the bigger woman in this and just say what's wrong so i said okay and i text her and i said are you mad at me and she answers me not really why and in my mind i'm like not really why like come on like I'm not going to be playing those games and I'm not going to be up anybody's ass and kissing anybody's ass and I'm sorry to say it like that but that's the way that I felt. I'm not going to be up anybody's ass because I really don't feel I did anything wrong, first of all. I did not stab her in the back in any way. I did not ignore her in any way. I was just living life with my family, something that, something that she really has done to me in the past before and I understood. She paid more attention to her family and her kids and stuff like that. And I understood that because I understand what it takes to have a family, you know what I mean? So she has done this to me in the past, but now that she's not in a relationship and she's really, in my opinion, right now just thinking about herself. Feels a bee. Just thinking about herself, now it's wrong because I'm doing that and that's how I feel. So when I text her, she told me that. She told me not really why and I was like not really and then she says um well why why do you ask and like I said the thing that irks me is when people beat around the bush and lie to me and I was trying to fix her friendship I was trying to you know like really genuinely ask what's wrong like what is it that bo that's bothering you or something like that you know I was just trying to fix it and it just came down to it like she was just I feel in my opinion I feel like she was kind of being like bitchy with me like a smart ass with me and I don't like that and I just told her it will because I just sucked it up and I told her because you tagged this girl in this and you didn't even answer my comment or stuff like that and then she came at me well I would meet up with you just us before I don't know what the problem is but the difference is that me and her lived closer than my other friend. So that's why we would get together. And But I told her, you know what? It's, um, it's fine. Yeah, I understand. You're right. We would meet up. You guys can meet up. That's fine. But I commented and you didn't answer me. And I don't like to be ignored. I don't like to feel left out, you know? And she's like, well, don't feel left out. And this, she told me a bunch of stuff. And then she just said... It just comes down to it like we're all living our own lives and if you want to reach out to me then you can do that or you reach out to me something like that and in my mind I'm just like I am 27 years old I'm not gonna be playing these games I I know what I want in my life and something like that I don't want you know what I mean because this person this person is in another like chapter of her life and she is not in a relationship anymore and she has her kids but I think right now at this time in her life she's thinking about just herself and what makes her happy and stuff like that which is fine but I am in my section of my life where it's not just about me I'm thinking about my kids I'm thinking about my boyfriend I'm thinking about my family like what's our next step what are we gonna do what makes us happy I'm not thinking about just myself and that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about like growing out of people because now I really believe that you could do that you know it's like your friends grow a certain way and you grow another way 
and it sucks it sucks because I was really close to this girl she knows a lot of my life a lot of my secrets a lot of everything about me and losing something like that sucks but you just have to realize people go a different way and you go another way and it's fine people grow and people people's lives change you know what I mean and um, it just hurts it hurts me and it hurts me because I feel like I reached out to try to fix it and this person did not care to fix it with me and I feel like right now at the time in my life where I don't know what's going on with my boyfriend's stomach my I just went through something really traumatic and stressful and my kids right now are going through my kids right now are going through something I would have thought that I would have my friend you know I would have thought that I would have had her and I don't I don't have her the way that I thought I did and it's just it hurts me and I cry about it to my boyfriend and I tell him it hurts me like it just hurts me you know it's like I told him the other day it's like a breakup I feel like I'm breaking up with her or something and it hurts and then he told me he's like he's like I understand it hurts you but do you really think that she's sitting right there breaking her head about you and I said honestly I would think it would hurt her the same but right now in the point of her life that she is and thinking the way that she is I don't know I really don't know so I'm just like I need to I need to get over it and I need to let it out and I need to just let it go you know but then it gets to me because it's like so now that my boyfriend and I are in a better place and we have gotten to the point where we can go out alone and do our dinners with our friends and stuff like that I don't have anybody to do that with you know I I mean I have my other friend but she but me like me I stay at home with my kids and she works so it would be kind of hard to start talking a lot during the week and during the day and stuff like that and on the weekends we could meet up but then I don't want to put her in the middle between me and my other friend because that's not fair to her as well, you know, like to her, we're used to us three getting together and our kids all together and stuff like that. And it just won't be like that anymore. So I don't know if to get closer to her and put her. Oh my God, I thought it shut off. I don't know if to put her get closer to her and put her in that spot or to just you know kind of back off and let them do them and then me just figure out myself but it just it just hurts <laughs> like I don't know and that's just my that's just what I wanted to talk to you guys about like I don't know what to do from here you know what I mean and I wanted to ask you guys because the other time that I had a, a problem with her actually and I posted a video I did get a lot of feedback from you guys and I did get good comments and talking to me and asking me and just giving me good advice and I guess I wanted that I want that from you guys you know I want to talk to you and I want you guys to just tell me ask me or just give me your advice or if the same thing has happened to you let me know what did you do how did you come to deal with with it and how, I mean what did you guys do did you guys fix the friendship or did you not or when friends are growing apart like that what do you do you know like do you just let it go or do you try to talk to them again because I feel like I feel like I should not be the one again to come to it and try to talk about it because I already try to do that you know and it didn't go so well and I was not in any way a bitch I was not in any way um, making this worse than what it had to be you know what I mean so I don't feel like it should have to be me this time and or I don't know like should I suck it up and just try to reach out to her again or something like that or I don't know I really just don't know what to do anymore.
and I'm sorry if you guys hear all the cars and like we live right at the corner and there's cars coming from like every direction but um I don't want to make this video super super long and be ready to see me every Tuesday with some new drama that's going on in my life or just something that I want to talk about and um yeah thank you for listening to me like always and just thank you like really really thank you i really appreciate every single one of you here on our channel because i really feel like i'm creating like friendships with all of you you know i don't i may not talk to all of you but you guys listen to me and a lot of you do comment and a lot of you i do have on social media and stuff like that so you know more or less what's going on in my life and stuff like that and i just really really appreciate you guys so thank you for listening to me and like i said come see me every tuesday i'll be uploading a video every tuesday with me just talking to you guys and um if you guys like this video or felt any relation to it or anything like that or just commented or something please give us a like and if you have any friends that you could bring on over to our channel to subscribe please let them know about our channel we will be having another giveaway for you guys once we get to a thousand subscribers and that one's gonna be a really really good giveaway I'm really making it I really want to make it a really really good one like I don't know I just don't want to give away the prizes or anything like that but it's gonna be a really really good one so if you have any friends any family cousins or anything that you can bring over please bring them over so we can get that um, giveaway going and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye